This one is a very interesting one. I think with the recent watering waves, people are evaluating or starting to worry if any other gacha game will be able to compete with Hoyo's games. Or are we too past that point? Because I think this guy saw watering. I don't want to sound like I'm hating on something just cause it's popular, but with the success of Hoyo's had with Genshin and Honkai Star Rail, it seems as though they are now an incomprehensible distance ahead of any other modern gacha game. And currently, they rule the industry. It seems as though even the veteran game of the genre, like Grand Order, have been completely dethroned and hasn't even reached as much mainstream popularity as Hoyoverse did in its entire lifespan. Genshin and Honkai Star Rail are pretty much both commercial success globally. Mm. Seriously, who could have ever imagined to see a gacha game on the Las Vegas sphere, let alone one that's been out for slightly over a year, especially from what was just a small indie company a few years ago. This is nothing short of mind-boggling. Wow. What do you guys think? Do you guys think any company can eventually come out and defeat Hoyoverse? Hoyoverse is too good, too strong, too powerful. Huh. Hoyo Shields? No company has the money to compete with Hoyo. That's a sad reality. Really? Even Nexon and Netbubble? Wow. I'm sure... You know, like some people just say Hoyoverse got lucky. And people are looking into Kuro games to be the next one to be able to do it. Can they pull it off? Can Kuro games pull this off? Roblox can beat Hoyo? <laughs> really? It will come out, just give it some time. It's been years. It's been years now. Anything is possible in the future. Pre-Genshin era, we didn't even think gacha games can even reach the masses in the West. Nothing lasts forever as the wise said. Aniplex could have done the same, not only with a brand new FGO, but with a new anime based IP. If only they operate in a different business model and stopped catering to Japanese hyper whales who are content with looking at browser based flash games. Ooh. I mean, he's right. I can see uh, Aniplex, uh, I think the, the makers of FGO, right? Japanese gaming companies are ruled by all fossils. That's why Pokemon keeps coming out with subpar games. Square Enix have been making or closing horrible gachas for years. I can't believe they squandered MFF like that. What is MFF? MFF. Final Fantasy. M is what? Morbius, I assume? But yeah, um, Genshin success credit goes to lockdown. Could be, could be that, but I would say the game is itself is also pretty good, uh, which pushes it a little bit in that part, right? Hoyo White Knight must be grateful with three pulls and free five star. Damn, yeah, that sucks for sure. Um, listed some complaint I have. You seriously think a Japanese company is going to be able to match up with the pace and scale and with Mihoyo moves? The same Japan that is pretty much a stereotype these days for slow, deliberate and low risk business plays and barely even knows how to market and expand globally anymore? The same Japan that lost the consumer electronics industry to Korea failed to even get on board with e-commerce and social media and is now in the process of losing the EV race to China? Electric vehicle, is it? Listen, Mihoyo's success is not an accident. It's not, alright guys? Guys, get that out of your brain, alright? People have been saying, you guys have been saying lockdown, this, COVID, this. No, 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 no. Listen, it's not an accident. Hoyoverse is successful for a reason. 
Listen to this guy, all right? This Redditor knows what he's talking about. Video game historians will look back at it years from now, and they will write about how this was indicative of a larger economic trend in which extremely competitive, fast-moving, internationally experienced companies from China disrupted the mobile gaming industry, like they did in many other industries. Through a combination of cutthroat marketing, hyper-fast content pipelines, and yes, predatory business models. Predatory? Okay guys, let's talk about predatory. What's predatory? Dailies, predatory. First time purchase, predatory. 50-50, predatory. Weapon banner, predatory. I like it. So all these are predatory for sure. All right, these are all the predatory stuff. I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh, yo, release COVID. Yo, what? What do you say? Nobody can produce content at the speed and scale of MiHoYo. Two parallel six weeks content cycles plus two new games after Genshin in four years at quality with simultaneous global releases and full localization, full English voice acting that Snowbreak Aether Gazer couldn't even pull off would have been considered impossible before Mihoyo showed it can be done. Hate them or love them. They have set a production bar that nobody else could even match, even in China, and certainly not in Japan, not in Africa, not in Australia, or in the West. Hmm. Japan may have the IPs to compete, but they could have never made a Genshin equivalent. Never ever do it. Saying well a Japanese Genshin using the Fate franchise could have blown Genshin away is missing the forest for the trees. It's like saying, yeah, if only Blizzard could release a full World of Warcraft expansion every six months, I'd still be playing. Damn, this is a good essay, yo. Yo, this is like the best essay, guys. Guys, I agree. I agree, guys. Do you guys agree on it? Yo, this guy is an expert. This guy is an expert. Hoyo is going to be the next umbrella and it's going to create a new... Vi Can you chill with the virus stuff? Come on. It was all planned all the while. Chi Chi is predatory. Chi Chi as well. But yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's really hard, right? At this at the scale that they are currently working. Once Zenless Zone Zero comes out. Whew, three triple A. Once Honkai Impacted Part 2 comes out. Oh my god. A lot of opinion, but no facts. Yo, chill, man. What do you mean, opinion, no facts? We are where the MMO was around 2005 to 2015. There was one massive game that caused lightning in the bottle and a bunch of clones coming out every year trying to replicate their success. At the time, everyone said only Blizzard can kill World of Warcraft, and that's exactly what happened. I think it's similar here. Only Hoyoverse can kill Genshin, and not much will change until then. World of Warcraft is still strong, right? It's still going strong, I think. I don't think... Is there any other MMO that can compete with it? Maybe nowadays, not many MMO... Not many people are a fan of MMO. I feel like it doesn't cater to, like, the young people. The young audiences. But yeah, I, I think, like, yeah, I feel like a lot of gacha games can't really compete with Hoyoverse. Hoyoverse gacha game is... Astounding. Good quality. They push content like crazy. And yeah, they'll continue to, to progress from there.